Is this the simplest marble divider possible? Well, I made 10 versions of this design and in this video we're going to try them all, but first there's a thought that's been bugging me throughout this entire process. In theory, there's a possibility for improving this design further. There's this 11th version, a mystery marble divider that would solve all the last remaining issues of version 10. And this mystery marble divider would be the holy grail of dividers. But to really understand what would be so great about version 11, we have to start from the beginning. A marble divider divides marbles from one lane into many lanes. And there are two main types of marble divider. First, the divide by number type of divider. It divides a single lane evenly onto several lanes. This, for example, is a divide by four marble divider. And here's a divide by eight marble divider. But on my new machine, I do not need to divide marbles evenly. I need to divide the marbles depending on how many notes each track is playing. I need a divide by note type of divider, like the big marble divider I used on the marble machine X. So instead of dividing the marbles evenly, a divide by note divider divides the marbles based on which channels are playing the most. It sends the marbles to empty channels, keeping all marble tracks full at all times, even though some tracks are playing a lot and some tracks aren't playing at all. Here's the divider on the original marble machine. It looks like it was working, but we only used the takes in the video where it performed okay. In reality, it was constantly jamming and creating chaos. So I spent a crazy amount of energy on the new marble divider for the Marble Machine X. And despite all the effort into this design, it never worked flawlessly. It was constantly jamming and causing unforeseen issues. And of all the 10,000 parts on the Marble Machine X, it was actually the marble divider that cost me by far the most pain. So to create a third and reliable marble machine, I need to design a marble divider that is far more reliable than anything on the previous versions. And in the back of my mind, there has been these two designs that I've been thinking about the most. Firstly, we have this Y-split divider by the amazing Mr. Gonsonator. When I saw this video, I felt immediately that there is something to this design. So simple, so clean. And even though this is only dividing one track into two tracks, I've been thinking about arranging this type of Y-split divider into a tree-like structure like this. This would allow us to divide one track into whatever amount of tracks we need. The other design that I've been thinking about is this one by Jesse Rolfs. It uses the weight of the marbles to send the open close signal to the gates allowing marbles to the tracks. I think this design has a lot of merits and would be a great improvement to my Marble Machine X divider. But for now, the simplicity of the Y-split makes me want to investigate that one first. But would the Y-split really work on a lot of channels? If we make kind of a 37 channel Y-split tree, wouldn't that be too much for the first first instance of the tree to handle. Yes, probably, but happily we have a very simple fix for that. One of the big problems I had on the MMX was that the marble divider had to handle a lot of incoming marbles. I routed all 37 instrument marble tracks into one single track, lifted them up with a conveyor belt and then onto the marble divider that then had to sort out all the 37 channels from one single marble track. On the new marble machine I'm planning to keep the marbles in separate closed loops throughout the entire marble cycle. This means that the snare drum marbles stays in their own lane all the time. They have their own lanes in the conveyor belt and once they are lifted we can have a dedicated marble divider that only needs to handle the marbles from the snare drum. In this case only four channels. This is a simpler task for a marble divider. Okay let's see if this simple split could be a real contender to be used on a world tour ready marble machine. On version 1 I basically copied Gonsonator why split directly. I made these simple spring-loaded gates to help with the testing. First I test if the design can sort the marbles from a totally empty state. I plan to always keep the marble lanes full, but it does handle the marbles well, so that's great. The divider must divide the marbles by how many notes each track is playing. 
And the first version seems to divide the marbles perfectly at first, but watch what happens here when I change the position of the marble gate slightly upwards. The top marble from the right lane finds a position where it blocks the incoming marbles and the left lane runs dry. When I readjust the gate height, you can see how the marble starts flowing again and the divider is back to normal functionality. It would be so nice if the design was not sensitive to marble position, so I'll add that as a nice to have design requirement. The divider needs to handle simultaneous notes when both channels place at exactly the same time, and my first test seems to show that it handles well until right here, when one single marble takes up the space where two marbles should be. The gate can sort the situation out by itself, but this isn't good. It would cause a lot of uncertainty about the marble height positions, so this is not acceptable. And even worse, we also have another kind of jam session going on right here, where the left marble have scooted over too much to the middle and obstructs the right marble from coming through. This violates the must not jam ever design requirement. So a lot of room for improvement on this design. Let's see if version 2 fixed any of these issues. I wanted to experiment with a tapered inlet to see if this could prevent jams and remove the sensitivity for marble height, but if you ever need a new player for your next jam session, call version 2 because it kept on jamming like there was no tomorrow. Let's not waste any more time and let's check version 3 immediately. Here I gave the marbles a lot of extra space to see if that would sort out the jamming but as you can see no matter how much space we give the marbles the divider is still sensitive to marble position and we also have the other type of jam further down where the track splits. This jam will sort itself out when the right lane plays a note but sometimes a channel will be paused for an entire song, so the divider must handle playing on only one channel. On version 4, my main focus was to eliminate this lower jam, and I tried changing the profile of the dividing wall so that the divided marbles could stay much closer to each other. Here you can see that the marbles on version 3 are much more separated compared to version 4, and it's this separation that caused a lower jam. So I was really curious to test this new design, and to my happiness, that jam never occurred again. So we have our first clear improvement, but the joy didn't last for long because version 4 also had this issue where a single marble takes the space of two marbles. And as before, this situation can sort itself out, but we need the marble behavior to be more reliable and consistent. So for version 5, I reduced this area where five marbles can move freely to a much smaller area where only one single marble can move freely. And by the way, I like the trend here where the designs become smaller and smaller. I think that's always a good sign. Version 5 is still position sensitive, but a smaller area only allowing a single marble to move free seemed to have done the trick. I couldn't repeat the situation where one marble took the place of two marbles. So again, we have made progress. And again, the joy is short-lived because this strange jam occurred. And here I think it makes sense to differ between the sort of permanent jams that can cannot be resolved by incoming marbles and temporary jams like this one that will always be sorted out by incoming marbles. Regardless, I will add no temporary jams as a nice to have design requirement. If we can get rid of those, we should. But the version 5 is actually doing a really great job and here I'm testing another important design requirement, flow rate. The divider needs a higher flow rate than the max flow rate of the marble gates. And this divider just seems super fast, so we're clearing the flow rate requirement easily here. Here's the full list of all our design requirements, and version 5 cleared all our must-have requirements, but it didn't clear the not sensitive to marble position, nice to have requirements. So I wanted to try to make a design that would also fix this. So I made version 6, and version 6 is a divider on a completely different principle, and it was a long shot and it missed the goal entirely. It was just jam session throughout the night, and I didn't feel compelled at all to tweak this design, but perhaps some of you would like to pursue it. If you could design a 2D Y split that is not sensitive for marble position, you've actually found the holy grail of marble dividers. This is the design requirement that I tried to solve with version 6, but I couldn't. And I'm just going to accept that I cannot solve it, but perhaps one of you can. 
Version 7 is an improvement over version 5 by further reducing the area of that one free marble. I'm thinking that the more contained we can keep the marbles, the more reliable they should move. On the real machine, I will not be able to adjust the marble height by moving the marble gates like I'm doing here. So if the Y split is going to work, we need another way to adjust for marble height. So I made these wiggle tracks inserts. These can lengthen and shorten any marble track with high precision. The distance from the Y split to the marble gate is set and cannot be changed. But thanks to these wiggle tracks, we can change the distance the marbles have to travel in between them. As you can see, the left lane works well, but the right lane is jammed because the position of this marble is about five millimeter too high. So I changed the wiggle track marked one to one marked four meaning lowering the marble height with three millimeters. As we can see, that was not enough. So I'm changing out the other two modules to fours as well. And now the marble path is so much longer. So the top marble is in the correct position and the gate is behaving correctly. Long time viewers will share my PTSD regarding height adjusting of marble lanes right here. Many of you will remember the 35 videos I made about adjusting marble lane height on the Marble Machine X. And these plywood inserts that were for adjusting the marble height make my heart beat fast in a really bad way. <laughs> this one is just a little bit over. Number six, slot this one in. Boom! It's flush! Here. So, if this insert caused me so much pain on the Marble Machine X, how could I even think of implementing something similar into a brand new design? Well, the difference is when in the process they get implemented. On the Marble Machine X, I didn't plan for the height sensitivity requirements, so the inserts were an afterthought. And I had to find room for these inserts after the machine had already been assembled. And the whole ordeal is just emblematic for why the Marble Machine X failed. On a new machine, on the other hand, if we have the design requirement to begin with, we can plan for and make the proper space for the inserts, and we won't be caught by surprise by the need for them. Okay, so now we have a great divider, and my plan here was to position three identical dividers into this tree configuration. First a divider, then two height adjusting lanes, and then two more dividers followed by four more height adjusting lanes. But then I realized that I could remove a lot of parts by design a divided tree with a perfect distance between the Y splits built in from the beginning. In this design, if the marble height is correct on the lower splits, the marble height will automatically be correct on the higher split, saving a lot of parts and hassle. So I designed a more softer, more flowy version 9 and then went immediately ahead to design the full part with three Y splits in one. And here it is, my friends, the almighty version 10. I refined the design a bit and this is the final design for today. I also added these middle bumps here, which are 0.7 millimeter high ridges, pushing the marble off center, avoiding some temporary jams. Here I'm setting up version 10 of the divider and channel one is too high. So I choose a longer wheel path and channel one is now correct. Channel two is too low, so I choose a shorter wiggle path. And channel two is now also correct, which means that the top position of the left marble is automatically at its correct position. I did the same for track three and four. So let's see how this divider performs. Okay, I'm really happy with this design. It checks all the must have design requirements except for one. To make the machine sound good, we want the divider to be as silent as possible. And the 3D prints on plywood board does sound an awful lot. But this is only a prototype and this design is purposely designed to be easy to mold with some kind of silicone. And that would take most of the sound out of the whole thing. So compared to everything I've built before, I think this is a great step in the right direction, but should we be happy with this? Should we call it a day? Perhaps not. 
so is this it? Is this the perfect marble divider? Well, perhaps not. Perhaps the holy grail of 2D dividers exists out there. I've been out here in the Swedish forest for a full week trying to find it and I have not been able to design a 2D marble divider that is not height sensitive. But maybe you can. So if you have any ideas on how to design this, leave your design suggestions in the upload link below. Uh, a 10 second video is everything I want. Follow these instructions and I'll check your suggestions in a later video. And it's pretty fun because I actually don't think this design exists. I do not think you can do it. So if you want to prove me wrong, and I know you would love to prove me wrong, this is your chance. Thank you.